exhausted, but last night I had the weirdest experience. The weirdest. So I went to work. It was a very slow night for me. I came out with like, well, I came out with like a hundred and eighty-three dollars. I think it could have been more. I had a customer in Skybox, which is like the highest, most expensive area. It's like two thousand dollars, or you can charge whatever. That's like two hundred. I have a customer who legitimately is so drunk. He's plastered. I didn't know he was this drunk, dude. I really did it. I find out. He tells me he has to go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay, it's down the corner. We're again in the nicest area. Okay. He goes down the hall to another room, another skybox room, and starts peeing in the corner of the room. My customer. Traumatized, devastated, horrified, embarrassed, mortified. The woman was too stunned to speak. Mortified. Mortified. I literally go out to check up on him and I'm like, what is he doing? You know, I'm like checking on him. I literally walk out and he's being escorted out. And I'm like, wait, what happened? What happened? He's like, the manager tells me he's peeing in the corner. I was like, you're joking. You're joking. Oh my God. I'm what? Who does that? Who? How? Why? I've never been that close up in my life. And I don't think, I mean, peeing on yourself is one thing, but if you have the, if your brain is like, okay, I have to pee, right? You're obviously not that fucked up. You have to pee that badly and you're that fucked up. You just piss yourself. What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> so that's how my night went. That's how it ended. I didn't know I had to walk someone to the bathroom. Do you know what I mean? I, did, I just feel like that's such a, you know, personal, intimate moment. Like, you need to pee, so okay. I don't want to, I didn't know I had to walk you to the bathroom. You know, how old are we? That's like what I would do for a toddler. This grown ass man is peeing in a corner of a $2,000 room. Ew, whoa. God. Dude, I'm honestly devastated. So, I am going into work today. I'm so proud of myself. I do this thing where I, before I go to work, I sage myself and like, you know, my ashtrays that I created that are still gonna be sold in the future. I just need to get my bearings, but it's like a little ceremony I have and it actually helps me so much. Like just clearing the energy, like setting my intention. So that's my little plug in. Um, maybe about doing something new with my hair, possibly going black, I'm kind of a bit of blonde, but possibly going black or something, or just like doing something with it. I don't know. It's like just giving me straight hair, basic bed. You know what I'm saying? Like I want something more, even though it's like blonde and I'm black, so it's kind of not basic. It's kind of intense, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, makeup, watched the last episode of Stranger Things. I just started binging it. It's amazing. I'm already almost done with the last episode. Um, put on my makeup, brush my teeth, and then shut out of here. Um, update. It has been probably like 12 hours since I found out I was deactivated from my favorite club. Um, I called a few times and I messaged the manager. Basically, I have learned a big lesson. Um, I wasn't tipping them enough and there were a lot of girls and not enough customers for the day shift, so they had to make cuts. They cut me. It is very political. You know, I did my crying earlier just because, like, <sighs> literally nothing is guaranteed. Also, another tip is to basically keep your head down. Don't 
make yourself a target, like I did. <sighs> On numerous occasions, I've definitely made myself a target. It sucks, dude. I love this club so much. I'm gonna re audition eventually. I'm gonna have to have a stronger stage performance, take classes. And there was another club that I didn't go to the audition for. Well, all I had to do was sign the paperwork for this one. And I did it because I was like, I already have three clubs I'm working at. I don't need a fourth one. I need to go. Like, a week later. <laughs> really get it but I'm so sad because I've been hyping this place up and like I literally have gotten so many people interested in going and I got fired I mean it's just the game money talks at that club at any club honestly but yeah money is what everyone is wanting they don't really I say that this club cares more about the girls, but still, like, they want their money. They want their cut, or you're getting cut. You might as well make some type of connection with the managers so they don't do that. You can always get your job back. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. A new learning lesson, I hope. You're not in this type of position because it sucks. I mean, you make money, but there's always something that you have to prepare for that you don't see coming with this. So, 